We're grieving because we lost one of our family members. Data from the Texas Department of Transportation reveals that since 2020, there have been more than 187 crashes on State Highway 21 in Bastrop County. That does not include last Friday's school bus crash that killed 5-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya, 33-year-old Ryan Wallace, and injured more than 50 others. TxDOT tracked 144 injuries and two deaths on their stretch of highway between State Highway 130 and FM 812. The highway has seen at least one death every year since 2022, though accidents appear to be uncommon where the concrete truck swerved into the school bus's lane Friday. Hayes CISD Superintendent Dr. Eric Wright says the driver's actions saved lives. She um, pulled the steering wheel to the right to avoid a direct head-on collision, and, um, and her evasive maneuver saved a, a lot of lives. But concrete uh, truck driver was definitely at fault. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. So how do crashes on other highways in the area compare to State Highway 21? SH-71 to its north has seen a similar number of crashes since 2020. However, it's a divided highway and has seen roughly half the number of injuries on the stretch between SH-130 and FN-252. Data reveals there have been more deaths on 71 since 2020, four to be exact, including one earlier this year. We then compared SH-21 to other two-lane highways, like SH-80 approaching the San Marcos Airport in Hayes County. Since 2020, there have been 67 crashes, resulting in 38 injuries and zero deaths. We reached out to TxDOT, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and the Bastrop County Sheriff's Office for comment, but Bastrop declined, with the other agencies being unavailable Monday. Everything's raw right now, and a lot of people are still in shock, and so uh, we need to make sure that we're, we're taking care of the, of the healing effort the best that we can. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.